everyone, it's Stephanie. My YouTube channel is Lucky Snugs, and today I'd like to share with you an Easter flip book that I made. But first I'd like to show the envelope that I will be mailing it in. I've been having a lot of fun lately with decorating envelopes. And with this one, I just adhered some scrapbook paper with glue and with packing tape to a plain yellow bubble mailer. And this is an image I cut out of a little golden book called The Color Kittens. And the kitten has a little paintbrush, and then here I will put the, ad the address of the recipient, and then my address, of course, will go up here. And then on the back is the same scrapbook paper, and then some cute little Easter eggs and uh, some text from the book. And for the flip book, I used um, the Rusty Pickle file folders that I've been using for several of my flip books lately. I tied this one together just with a piece of yellow gingham fabric. And then I tied all the flip books, to, all the uh, folders together just with some twine and then I put a little heart charm on it and it says made with love. And this is a blue rusty pickle folder. I punched out a hole so you can see the flower on the next page and a little pearly brad. And this is some rusty pickle paper. Unfortunately, Rusty Pickle is no longer in business. It just broke my heart when they closed up shop. <clears throat> but this was one of several pages that I had saved. I just love it. It's Peter Cottontail. And when you open it up, here's another image of the rabbit. He's sitting with Easter eggs, painting an Easter egg. And then up here, there's a chick coming out of an egg. When you go to the next page, and this says, they call me Mr. Cottontail. And then when you flip it open, there's an image of Peter again. And then on the, I, I put scrapbook paper on the back of the bunny. And these are some phrases I cut out of a cereal box. And it says, they couldn't believe their eyes when they saw. And then I cut out the words Peter Cottontail from the title of the scrapbook page. And then I flip this one open, and there's a cute little felt egg. I bought this at Target. Uh, inside is a little chick. Let me sing. Peep, peep. And then a pocket here, just for some firma. And then more tags right here. This is just the last little bit of a piece of rusty pickle paper that I had that has sheep on it. I just loved it so much, and it's one of those pages that you just use every single scrap you possibly can. And this is a canvas tag and I've sewn it onto a denim strip and that's what I've used instead of washi tape. And you flip it open and there's some eggs on the scrapbook paper that I put on the other side and here's a tag with roses and you flip it open and it has some chicks and Peter Cottontail coming out of the eggs and he's offering one of the chicks an egg. And you flip it down to this page, and this is where I will adhere the vellum envelope. I haven't put it on yet. I'll just do that with washi tape. And this is the inside of the back cover. And I have some lace and a stamp of a rose. And this is uh, an Easter, the Easter Bunny driving like a carriage pulled by chickens. It's from a collage sheet that I purchased a few years ago. And then on the back... I have a pouch that I made that shows a carrot and another bunny, and then lots of paper firma. and then I also made this tiny little file folder, and it has a photo of my garden, and then on the inside, it has a photo of Alcatraz. In the springtime, the whole island just fills up with flowers that are left over from the gardener, gardens that the prisoners had. It's really beautiful. If you're ever in San Francisco in the springtime, I highly recommend it. It's just gorgeous. And there's just a little stamp on the back. And then just, you know, basic firma, some cards, a couple of tags. And then for my vellum pouch, I have a little tiny playing card from San Francisco, a teeny weeny key, a couple of vellum tags, 
a tag from a lip gloss that I had years ago. Uh, it has a cupcake on it. A little green plastic leaf. And a little metal arrow. Pick it up. There we go. And that is it. That is my Easter flip book. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.